Welcome back to an exciting new video from Cambria and Bobby. In today's video, I get a new motorcycle. Oh yeah! Freya finds a bug. Ew. And Xander takes a tumble at the beach and cuts himself up. All that and more, so stay tuned. Yeah! Thirty-eight. This is the, the high-end sport one. There you go. You're gonna drive? <laughs> oh, is it hot? Is it hot? Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> She's like, no. She's like, my little legs are hot. Is that cool? Is that like a car? <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's a pink motorcycle. Is that pretty cool? You can try. Yep, put your feet up here. Oh, shoes on. No, shoes on. Whoa. Yes, it does go fast, but we're not going to actually drive it. You're a little small, okay? It's hot. Hey, do you like that one? It's cute. Yeah, Daddy. You know Daddy's hand. That's fine. <laughs> All right, so I ended up trading in my Indian Challenger 2021 for a 2023 Indian Scout Icon. Now I know I did a lot to my Challenger, but I'm not really too far behind on this because this one already has the Indian uh, intake. The, uh, the performance intake, and as you can see, it has the Indian two into one exhaust. And that's already tuned for this. So normally this bike is 100 horsepower, bone stock. Now it's about 110, maybe a little more. Oh it yeah, depends, more you know, power. Like, obviously on the tune, but Indian says you see over 10% gain in power by doing this setup. So I'm gonna call it 110. And uh, yeah, so my in-laws had this bag because they have a 2016 Scout and they're not using it. So for right now, I got a bag. I just gotta get two more black screws for it. Then it'll be good. But yeah, this bike is just, it's just a raw version of the Challenger. It's super light. It's just got a little bit smaller motor than the Challenger, um, but otherwise it's set up the same. Doesn't have all the bells and whistles, which is fine, because um, it just gives you that more raw feeling. The other benefit of this bike, even though it is a brand new bike, so you're like, oh, well, you got rid of your other bike, now you got a new one. No, well, yeah, but this bike is cheaper. Some cheaper monthly payment, it's cheaper on insurance, so I'm actually saving money even though this is newer. 
and that's kind of what I wanted. Plus I wanted the, just the more raw riding experience and that's what this bike provides. So it's basically, it's like riding a comfortable crotch rocket. So yeah, and you know, I like power and speed. Eventually this will be done and I'll have a lot more power, <laughs> a lot more speed. But uh, yeah, for right now, this will uh, fill that gap. When they took my Challenger in, um, like it turns out there's actually stuff kind of wrong with it. Um, turns out the up and down windshield was broken. Didn't even, like, I, I remember it wasn't working right. And then it, I totally forgot because I, I never put my windshield up and down. I purposely put on the Clockworks one because I wanted less windshield. Um, so totally forgot. Yeah, that's broken. And uh, I don't know what, but when I was driving to the dealership, like, go figure, right? Um, the check engine light came on. So I don't know if my tune that was in there was a little too aggressive and it burned up an O2 sensor or what. Bike still made plenty of power. It still went and it sounded fine. So I'm like, well, do I go home and tear this thing apart, try to figure out what's wrong? Or I just go to the dealership and we'll see what happens. I went to the dealership and saw what happens. I was able to get traded in, so it was fine. Uh, I'm sure it's something really easy for them to fix. And yeah. So a couple things wrong with the old bike. Like what I did, did make that bike a whole lot faster. And it's like, at least this new bike already has all the same stuff done. So I'm super excited that I already got everything done like that. Now it's just doing like, you know, your little customizey things. But like I said, I wanted it to be raw and go from there. See what I really want out of the bike. See what's comfortable where that bike had every bell and whistle. And I didn't really need it. So and it was bigger, it was heavier, a little harder to manage. Yeah, it was very comfortable. There's no doubt about that. The Challenger is a great comfortable bike, uh, but this one's gonna give that more, like I said, raw riding experience. And that's what I wanted. I wanted the excitement. So not just speed, just like all around excitement. So yeah, that that's why I got rid of it. So, and it's cheaper. Nothing wrong with having a cheaper payment, that's for sure. But also, for those of you that don't know, my favorite color is orange. So, orange black sunglasses. Subconsciously, I must have wanted this bike a long time ago because I have orange and black laces as well that I put on these boots when the original strings ripped out. So, orange and black laces. Orange and black motorcycle. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, so I got all my accessories that I took off my Challenger. I got them all on this bike. So like my license plate cover with the little skulls and army stuff. There you go. So real American muscle, ride for freedom, 1776. I got the skulls and the army, but uh, yeah, uh, I made this I did this plate customized on Amazon. So just that cover. So yeah, works with this bike still. Um, got my big ass cup holder, my wireless phone charger, and hooking that up. I actually hooked it up into the USB and then put like uh, some braid over it to make it look a little uh, neater and just ran it all through right here try to keep it looking neat and clean um, then I finished installing all the bolts for the bag really don't got like a whole lot in it it doesn't fit my cell phone so that's the reason for this like a a glow stick, uh, registration, insurance, some band-aids, you know. And then yeah, I installed my black 
skull mirrors. They look so sweet on this bike. Um, bum, 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 bum. Also, just like little touches, like American flag valve covers. And what was it? Oh, and then my bell, my lucky bell, guardian bell. So Cambria got me this, so it's got twice the luck. It says, here you can get really in there, beer, babes, and bikes. So this was on the Challenger, and I think the reason why the check engine light came on is because I didn't have this on the Challenger when I rode it to the dealership. So go figure. Isn't that just some weird, crazy luck? I don't know. So hopefully that means this bike is protected. And so yeah, uh, that's, that's it for now. Um, I'm waiting on, I have a, a bag ordered, a handlebar bag ordered for either I'm going to put it here or I'm going to put it up here. So that's coming and shoot, what else I had to order? That's pretty much, you know, it for going on the bike. There's other stuff I want, but you know, can't always get what you want. Then I got a lock for my, I, this is just a gun lock, it's a Ruger, <laughs> um, for my <laughs> helmet. So, yeah, but there you go. That's, that's my bike all done up now. All right, because you know I can't leave well enough in the, alone, I want my exhaust louder. So, I had to mess around, take some stuff off. I had a stupid security screw had to get that off so basically the Indian exhaust is the rebranded SNS um, exhaust system so you can take out this to give you more flow um, basically your exhaust has to like fight its way into these little holes and then out the back so what I'm gonna do for right now I'm just gonna hack it off like right here well, and then it's not <clears throat> fighting. It'll just be more free-flowing. But I don't know if I want to go full on take it off off. Um, so, yeah. I think I'll hack that off so it's just free flow. And put that back on. Try it like that. See how I like it. And go from there. See if it's loud enough for me. Here's how it sounds now with that piece taken out. It's still in there. Sounds better. Baby bug. A baby bug? Is that Ucky? No. No? Mm -hmm. It's cute? Yeah, it's cute. It's clean. Oh. It's a box. Let me see it. Freya got this outfit from T and Papa for her birthday. Oh my goodness. It will goodness. be her like it? Halloween costume. Oh, she is going to be a witch princess. It's pretty. It's pretty? Oh, that's the belly? Yeah. Does it have wings? Yeah, wings. Can it fly? Yeah. No. Hey. Freya, what, what are you dressed like? A witch. A witch? Yeah, a witch. D uh, just showing the bug? Yeah, a sorry bug. A cute a fly. Oh, it's cute. Oh. Is it your baby? Yeah, a baby bug. Oh, a baby. A baby. Look, a baby. Oh, yeah, the belly. A baby. How oh, cool. You're so silly. <laughs> baby. 
Are you not afraid of the bugs? Yeah. Does it is it scary? No. No, it's not scary. A bug. This is. Yeah, it's got eyes. Going to the beach up in Palm Coast here. It's the first time we've been to the beach in a long time. And the water, the tide is high, so we got some really good waves right now. Look at the ocean. It's 83 degrees in the water. Okay. Super nice. All right, guys, keep walking. So we're at the beach today to get pictures, update our family pictures. Freya hasn't been to the beach in forever. So, let's see how she likes it. Right, Freya? What do you think, Freya? Beach. Water. Yeah. We'll see if we can find some shells. Keep going. Go by Mommy and your brothers. So we found our spot where we're taking our pictures. Look at that water. It's a nice little barrier to block the waves. Check this out, like just this engrave in the, in the water or the rock here. It's got like a little water pond. Bjorn's in it right now. Yeah. All the waves all come up through there. Oh, I just lost my sandal. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, shoot! I just got all wet. <laughs> that was a big one. <laughs> nah, I'm all wet. Cheese. Oh, jeez, I got wet again. <laughs> Whoa! It's like being at a water park. An all-natural water park. What do you think, Freya? Is that a nice seat? Oh, no! Whoa! <laughs> Careful, Freya. <laughs> you got oh, all wet. And there we go. Xander always gets hurt. Look at this. Always getting hurt. Both knees scraped up. It's just a scrape, though. It's okay. You're fine. It's just a scrape, fine. but yeah. Let's go by the water. Razor sharp rocks, big waves. It's bound to happen. Right, Bjorn? On the way home from the beach, we drove by a garage sale and found these doll houses. And she got a bunch of like little toys they were getting rid of. $10. All the toys and the doll house. And she loves it. But then. 
we got this one too. So 20 bucks for everything. Look at this dollhouse. It's awesome. This one can stay in her room and then the other one's smaller that it can come out. She can play. But yeah. Pretty sweet Thanks for deal. watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like. Because you know it helps us out. Um, drop a comment. And stay tuned. We got something special coming up. We are doing our podcast. The subject is, Am I the Asshole? So stay tuned for that. It's coming up. Should be fun and exciting. See you next time. Bye.